Well, I want to try something. If we, if as long as we stay above it, can it still pounce us? You wouldn't think so. Can we like pick it up? Oh well, <laughs> we can pull it right off the tree. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy, gaming in. In this episode, we are going to potentially nab ourselves a level 130 female Philo, uh, which is just kind of off that way. Um, and we're going to build a second tree platform on that tree right there. And that's going to become our barn, our tree barn. Uh, so those are the two major plans for today's episode. Uh, we tamed ourselves up a... Uh, Baryonyx, 95 female Baryonyx. And I also went back uh, towards the green obby and nabbed that 135 um, Therizina. Uh, so we got that. And um, we got some really nice equipment, too, from a couple of drops, including this Mastercraft pick for 200 damage. Really nice pick. And we got some nice scuba gear, too. Uh, okay, so let's uh, deal with the Thylo first. Um, so I have a total of 16 Uteranus eggs now, um, which we can use to make extraordinary kibble. And um, the egg production has increased now because Doc turned it up and it seems to be working good now. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, I've also hatched four uh, UD eggs. So I have four new baby Uteranus down underneath the platform here. Um, and they're just going to be for egg production and not use it, you know, going to use those for boss fights. We still have to go out and find a max level, a couple max levels or very high level UDs for that purpose. Um, but yeah, so let's take this, these 16 UD eggs here. We'll put them in here and, um, we're going to need, I know we're going to need Lazarus chowder, uh, for those. So let's, um, grab 16 of those. And let's see, what else do we need for Extraordinary Kibble, which is this guy here? Uh, we need just honey. We've got everything else. Okay, cool. We'll grab some bee honey there. Turn this on. And go to Kibble. And craft 10 Extraordinary Kibble, which is going to cover every single critter on the entire island. Well, every critter that takes Kibble, that is. So yeah, we're doing pretty good there. Okay, so while that's cooking up, um, we need to make ourselves another tree platform. We're just gonna go with wood again. There's no no real reason for us to go with metal because, um, you know, this isn't a PVP server. I mean, it's set to PVP, but it's not actually PVP. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need some wood and some cementing paste. We got lots of that stuff. Um, we have over a thousand Akatina paste now and I have 1700 actual cementing paste. Um, just from beaver, mostly raiding beaver dams. Uh, in fact, almost entirely from raiding beaver dams. Okay, so let's grab our wood out of here. We should have a decent amount. Um, oh, okay. Uh, hmm. I thought... Does my Therizino have some wood on it? I thought I had like 4,000 wood on the Therizino. <laughs> Maybe it still does. Let's go look. Uh, the theory is um, that we have is going to be uh, also our berry gatherer, at least for the moment, if not all the time. Um, according to Dodo Dex, they are the second best critter to gather berries on the island. Yeah, there's that wood right there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need to get close. These are the little baby Udis. Well, they're not babies now. They're juveniles. Uh, I also have a problem with Chomp, my T-Rex. Um, basically, what happened was I had three dinos, my Aloe, my Carno, and my T-Rex, all get caught in the terrain. Don't ask me how that happened. This is Ark. It happened. Um, and so, the only way to get them out is I had to go into ghost mode, but I screwed up and got... Uh, or dismounted 
um, chomp before I put him back in out of ghost mode, and now he's he's stuck in ghost mode, and I can't I don't know how to get him out of it. So he's right now I just have him following the Carno around because he's you know so I don't permanently lose him. Oh, fuck, come on, game. I'm a little I'm a little salty right now. I'm not extremely salty, but a little salty just because that happened. And just, you know, dealing with all the shit bugs that happen in this game. <laughs> oh, man, that's too much. Well, okay. I guess the bird can move just very slowly. So this will take a while. See you guys in 10,000 years. Okay. It wasn't precisely 10,000 years, but it was close. Uh, yeah, so basically... Chomp is kind of borked right now. He's, um... Where is he? He's right here. He's following Art so he doesn't just kind of go off into the nether, but you can see he's sunk into the ground and I can't I can't ride him. It won't let me mount up on him. And yes, I've tried to go back into ghost mode and get on him and that doesn't work either. So I I don't know what to do about that. It really sucks and it's because of this game uh, the bugs of this game with them getting stuck in the train in the first place which should have never happened, but it did. And it is what it is. So if we ultimately lose Chomp as a result. Thanks, Wildcard. Appreciate it. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, like I said. Okay, so let's grab this tree platform. And um, now in hindsight, um, what I should have done is I should have made the, the little landing area over there where October Sky is. I should have made it facing this tree, but I did just totally didn't think about it at the time because yeah, I just didn't. Okay. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I didn't think about it, uh, but that's a tree I want to use because it's still inside of our yard. The other possible tree that we could use is that one, but that one's not in the yard. And I mean, I know it's going to be up on a platform, but I'd prefer to have all of our stuff in the fenced in yard. So I'm just going to have to kind of improvise here to make, you know, to make this work. But let's get the platform in place right there. And what we, I think what we can do is probably build a bridge from that platform over to here. Um, and if I wanted to like walk a dyno from here over to there, which I probably will. <laughs> Excuse me, Gazuntai. And the reason for that would be because I, I'm, I'm planning, I am planning on using this platform as my incubating area. And as you can see, I already have a couple of air conditioners down that I use for those utes. So the idea is incubate them here, you know, um, get them born and maybe let them stay here until they're juveniles. And then we walk them over here, which is going to end up being our barn. Um, and I'll have to figure out, like I said, I'll have to figure out kind of a bridge scenario to get that to work. Uh, what I might end up doing is, you know, I made this like little extension here on this side. And I would remove this extension, except for that it's kind of part of the landing platform here. And so maybe we'll just build a second one you know, off of this end or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll work on it. I'm going to do all that off camera, though. So basically, just to give you the general idea of what I have in mind is over here, um, we're basically going to just, you know, we're going to set down foundations again, just like we did over there in, in the exact same manner. All right. So, yeah, we'll put, we'll put foundations down over here, just like we did over there. The main reason for that... Um, you know, because I, what I could do here is I could just put walls up um, along the outside and just have this be a big open area like with stalls because it's supposed to be a barn, right? I could do that. But the thing is, is, ooh, that extends out beyond the wall, doesn't it? Okay, well, whatever. We'll put the foundations down. And the reason why I'm going to do that is so I don't accidentally pick up the whole platform <laughs> and lose everything. That's the more than any other reason. That's why I want to cover this platform with foundations um, so that doesn't happen. And then, like I said, we'll, we'll build some kind of a bridge system over to there. And you know, you know what we could do, too? I mean, we could put a platform on that tree and on this tree. There's no rule that says we can't do that. And I can always 
If I felt like it was necessary, I guess I could even extend the fence, you know, the, make the yard even bigger. So there, there's lots of possibilities. But this is supposed, this is planning, a, or, or I am planning rather on this being the barn for the medium to small sized critters. Big stuff like Rexes and Uties, they're going to have to stay down below because they're just too damn big otherwise. Uh, but anything else, the plan here will be, you know, to make this into a barn and put some stalls in here, have the birds, you know, the flying uh, critters and stuff in here and go from there. And again, if, if I feel like we need more room, even, you know, even after we get this one set up, then we extend over to there and make like a, a triple platform um, place. Okay, so that is the tentative plan Stan. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can go capture that um, 130 female Thilo. And then we can start breeding with our male Thilo. Um, and the purpose of the Thylos, if... Um, wait, we have six more of those? Hold on a sec. Yeah. I thought I told it to make all of them. I must, I don't know. I think it makes like 10 at a time. So <laughs> anyway, um, the purpose of the thylos is for caves. So my plan for, for the thylos is to use them in the northeast cave up on Dead Island or Carno Island and in the lava cave in particular. Um, the south caves, we will probably use the baryonyx especially the South Central Cave, because that's the one that has all the water in it. Um, one of the hardest caves in the game, too. Uh, for the... For the Ice Cave, that one's going to be tricky, because that one you can't just walk a dino into. And I think the cave over across the way there has a pretty tight opening, too. So what we might end up needing to do for the Ice Cave is we might actually have to breed the dinos inside the ice cave, which is what the way we did it the last time I played on the island. Um, because we don't have cryopods on the server, and I don't know if... Um, I don't know what the hell that slow frame thing keeps popping up. Um, I don't know if Stock is planning on putting cryopods on the server or not. Um, I kind of want to do this without without them, at least on the island, just to, you know, to make get back to the old school, you know, way of doing things, I suppose. Uh, it does make things super, super much harder, though, but it's the way, you know, we used to do it in the old days. So from that standpoint, I'm down with it, you know. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's grab these out of here. Let's turn this off. We'll put the honey back in here. We have to go at some point. Fairly soon, we have to go after some more honey on our bear, which we can do. And that should be more than enough for the thylo. Okay. Uh, we have to wait a little bit longer before light. Actually, you know what? The nice thing I like about the nighttime in this game, at least if you're not in the forest, is it's pretty bright. I mean, you can still see pretty good. Now, when you're in the forest, it gets dark, but that's good because that's the way it should be, right? That's the way that's realistic. Um, but I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and let's see, you have, yeah, you have stuff for cages inside of you. So yeah, let's go see if that thylo is still there. Now it may not be, there's no guarantee at all that it will be. Uh, but if it is, then we'll see if we can nab it. So we're basically, it's right over off this way. I showed you guys in the montage, uh, you know, w when I spotted it on my way back with the other dinos. Um, but like I said, you know, it's it, it may not be there. In fact, the more I think about it, it probably isn't just because we had to do a server restart since then. But I don't know. We'll, we'll go look. Maybe it is. Maybe it is still there. Just, you know, I'm just trying to be careful here to make sure. Oh, okay. There's a thylo right there. I don't know if that's the same one. Let's get back away from it so it doesn't pounce us. 
No, yeah, that's just a level five female there. Okay. Let me look at the where I marked on the map. So it should be over this way. If it's still there, uh, which again, that's a big if. Just trying to be really careful here so we don't get pounced. Oh, maybe that maybe that's it. Oops, wrong button. Yep, there she is. She's there. Cool. Okay. So let's um let's set up our cage maybe right down here. Uh, or maybe down here. Yeah, look at her right there. She's just waiting, man. <laughs> She's just waiting to bounce. If we got just a little bit closer, she probably would. Okay, so you, what level are you? 70, damn, okay. He might cause a little bit of trouble. Why don't we, um, I want to sink this down into the ground a bit. Let's get these down here. We want two of those. So we can just pop them in place. All right. What I think we'll do here is... Let's just sit inside of the cage on the with the bird. And we will put these in here. That didn't hit. That hit. Yeah, coming over? <laughs> You're going to have to turn it on instead? Even though we're the one that hit you? Come on, dude. All right. Dudette, rather. Where'd you go? Shit. I don't know where it is now. Well, that's not good. We lost the damn thing. Uh, what do we get out of that? Nothing all that fantastic, actually. I'm going to chuck this stuff because it's just... Too heavy. Uh, we should put this in here, though. Well, shoot, man. That sucks. Uh, I have no idea where that thylo went. I wonder if it would reset back on its tree. I should have followed the thing immediately, but I, I figured it would bite the pteranodon and then just come at after me, but it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like just disappeared ah that sucks all right well let me fly around a little bit and see if i can spot it well i'm not spotting it um this is that level five thylo i want to try something if we if as long as we stay above it can it still pounce us you wouldn't think so can we, like, pick it up? Oh, well. <laughs> we can pull right off the tree. Shit. That's what we need to be doing, then. Wow, I didn't think we could do that.
Okay. Um, I'm gonna look just a little bit more. Um, I'm really kind of bummed out about that. And yeah, note to self, if you're ever in this situation again, go after the Thylo immediately. Don't expect it to come to you. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, there'll be more. It's nice to know we can pick them right off the tree, though. Well, look at that. She's in the tree, but not in the normal way, it seems like. We got her. <laughs> nice. All right. So she must have ch chased that bird and then decided to get back up in, the, uh, in a different tree later. Uh, now we just got to find where my cage is. Actually, you know what? If she, since she's not biting me, I think I'm going to take her over to our the other cage on the other side of the base because it's a little bit larger. Um, what level are you? Level 20, Therizina. Oh, well, so much for not biting, huh? That way it'll be just a little bit easier to get her in the cage. Well, I'm glad I persisted uh, looking for her because I was really starting to think we'd lost it. So we'll use this one uh, with our male and that'll start our breeding pair for, for cave. Cave dinos. All right, let's get this girl down. She down. All right, cool. All right, I'll bring you guys back when she stands up. All right. We got this thing to 95% with one extraordinary kibble. Now we're going to name you Thyla. Stupid saber. What level are you? Um, so I, I put one extraordinary kibble in and then, um, and then just some mut cooked mutton for the rest of it because there's no need to use two, uh, extraordinary kibbles. Nice. Um, our taming is set to four times on the server, but I think there must be some adjustments on the animal's food consumption too because um it's it's not quite uh matching up with what dota deck says it's it's a little easier actually <laughs> the poor chomp man he's just like he's a ghost all right this is cool man uh, so now we have two thylacaleos thigh and thyla And they can, we can start breeding them. Um, let's put you on uh, neutral. We got to get a saddle. Their coloring is um, very similar, actually. Very similar. What do they look like from behind? Yeah, she's got, she's got some like white stripes here where thigh... He's got the stripes too, but a different, not a different color. This is almost like a light blue, whereas that's more of a gray. But their coloring is really similar. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, we got that other uh, dodec up here that I I snagged because um, I think our 150, which is down here, is a male. If it isn't, then 
Are you a male? Oh no, you're a female too. Hmm. Okay. Let's give you some melee damage. All right. Well, we already have cheese ball uh, uh, as a male down there. I just kind of had him there as an anchor for the Rexes. One ten Argent. I really do like the colors on this. What level are you again? You're a a one thirty female. Uh, Dodex don't give eggs either. They're gestation animals. Um. Well, I mean, you know what? What the hell? It's here. We might as well knock it out, right? Uh, I don't think Rapture will do anything. Well, actually, he will if she hits me. Um, yeah, we need to put you on, uh, oh, you're already on passive. Okay. Oh, you dirty rat. <laughs> What'd you do that for? You knocked out my compost bins. And she's down. All right, well, we lost a couple compost bins, but those are cheap and easy to make. Not a big deal. And I'll have to do a little bit of repairing on the rail over here, too. Okay, so let's see here. You're a 130. Let me see what Dodex says. Or, uh, I'm sorry, um, Dota Dex. If, uh, if I can get Mac, um, if I can use Mayho berries to get all of the levels, then I'm not going to put uh, waste kibble on it. Uh, let's see here. Dota Dickers. We would lose one level if we use mayo berries. You know what, though? It takes regular kibble, and I have some. That's easy peasy. Let's just give it some. Um, let's see here. We'll give it three reg regular kibbles, and if that doesn't stand it up, then it can finish off with mayos. It'll make a nice backup dodic and... And like I said, I kind of like the colors. Okay, they don't have a um, a, ba a bad torpor drop either, so we're good to go on that. Excellent. All right, so let's see. Where does that put us? Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be working on that. Um... off camera just because it's going to be a lot of busy work you know getting the foundations down um putting walls around oh look at that there is a therazino down that way it's a level 20 okay um i have been to incidentally uh killing all therazinos and berries that i've come across that are low level just to Stimulate um, spawning. I better not put you back on neutral until this thing stands up, just in case. We'll let the plant species X deal with any birds that come in, which they do a very good job of. Uh, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I've been killing um, Therizinos, low level Therizinos, and Baryonyx as I come across them. Um, an attempt to, to, uh, for the game to spawn in higher levels. So, um, we still need a male Baryonyx, and we still need a... You know what? I don't remember now what sex the... Uh, Alright, well, that's useful stuff, I guess. I don't remember what sex our... There he is. <coughs> Excuse me. Gesundheit. 
So whatever sex our theory is, we need the opposite. <laughs> so we can start uh, start the breeding on those as well. I wonder if our Rex can take damage while it's in ghost mode. I would say probably not. What level are you, dude? right there level 30 and I have not come across a decent level um, saber yet to date have not what are you you're level 35 all right well um I'm not exactly sure where we are uh, with time in this episode, but I think we're going to just go ahead and wrap it up here, even if it's a little shorter than normal. Um, and I'm going to get to work on this tree house. I'm going to go uh, continue looking for another berry and another fairy. We now have our thylo, which is amazing. And um, go from there. So you're not sure exactly what we'll do in the next episode, but we will figure it out. We always do. And with that, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.